Hey everyone, Andrew Stormer here, and welcome to From the Depths, and I'm here with Philip. Hello. So, as you can see before us, this is the ship we've been working on for a very long time. In the scheme of things in this game, this ship is insane. It's massive, it's way bigger and heavier and ar more armored and tons of weapons everywhere. It's it's overkill for the normal stuff in this game but this is this has been our project we've been working on for like what, what a year or something <laughs> off and on obviously but yeah. from the depths what this game is mainly it's a ship building game and you shoot other ships and blow stuff up and we're gonna do a campaign i think next episode but uh, this episode, I want to show you guys what the game is overall and a bunch of what we have done thus far. So this ship, uh, I guess starting off, uh, Philip designed the original design of it, uh, the shape of the ship. And then it's kind of been just a collaborative effort since. Propulsion, I guess, that's a good place to start. We have uh, two steam engines here doing two propellers here which steam engines are pretty cool they're they're really fast if you do them right and they're really good for bigger ships so we have two propellers there couple rudders in the front bunch of propellers for turning in uh no rudders in the back propellers in the front um he's working on shields right now this ship is almost done like, we've been working on this thing uh, the last couple weeks, finishing it up, and it's going to be done here in a few minutes. I love this shape here of the bridge and the whole uh, enclosure, the swooping wings out the front. And so, as you see, there's six guns on here. No, seven. There's seven guns on here. The, there's this back one that's built in to the ship. It just rotates inside of its bounds. It doesn't move up or down, really. That's an advanced cannon. On top of it is a laser. So if we go in here, <laughs> that's a huge laser. It's insane. And then this one right here, this the giant primary gun, it's a three-barreled advanced cannon. The cram cannons are 2,000 millimeter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so okay then yeah i think 500 is max for uh, advanced cannons yeah the advanced cannons they can be either just really big guns they can be a uh, six barrel like mini gun sort of things like we have in the front or they could be rail guns so yes you can have rail guns in this game and then we have cram cannons we have two in the back here uh, which those are cram cannons are really good for just giant explosions and high damage We have a whole giant missile system here and then these little things here. This is the laser munition defense system It's basically an anti-missile system that uses lasers like this big laser here in the back and The AI system we have some stuff there a couple things on the cannons things on the sides uh, there's a little bit of a system in the bottom. Here's the AI system there. Uh, this is a engine which in this particular ship, it's only used to recharge the batteries, which are all back here, which the batteries are used for in the lasers. And we have fuel for that. All the ammo storage is down here. This thing might be a big ship, but it goes 21 meters a second max speed which is pretty good. One thing like, we should mention is that this is definitely going to be the flagship, not the yeah, main it, stage. It's the mothership. If if you go in here to load vehicle here, this is the prototype, and you can see it costs almost 500,000 material, which, by the way, that is a ton. That is way too much. So... Early game in campaign or story, you could not build this thing. This is late game ship. Boats aren't the only thing you can make in this game, though. You can make sky fortresses. You could make submarines. You can make uh, hydrofoil skidding ships. You can make planes. You can make 
jets. Quick overview, if we go into uh, the building inventory, which I'd say about 95% of this game is building, the like other 5% is actually shooting other ships and story yeah. and stuff. Uh, so we have blocks, which is all your stuff that you build, water, which is propellers and controls and all that fun stuff. Air is all the stuff that I have no idea how to do, but is your jets and planes and stuff. Control, this is just how you control everything, your control blocks. Resources, so you have material, fuel, ammo, and uh, electricity. And this I'll get into it just a little bit more in the Sky Fortresses. Fuel engines, which can be a good source of power just for horsepower or moving a regular propeller like you get in the water, not steam propellers. That steam is its own thing, but fuel engines are really good for compact stuff. You can make efficient engines or you could just make gas guzzling uh, horsepower crazy engines. You have steam engines, which you saw in there a little bit, but they're small ones, large ones, huge ones. You can combine them all, do crazy stuff. Miscellaneous, this is just stuff you'll see later. The couple different types of weapons, you have the simple weapons, your missiles, which uh, missiles are also torpedoes. Uh, you have cram cannons, which, as I said earlier, are just your heavy hitting cannons. You have advanced cannons, which are a little bit more refined and uh, mission specific, I guess. Like you could make a either super fast firing one or a really heavy uh, hitting one or a rail gun. Uh, there's energy weapons, so you have the lasers, like you saw earlier. There's the particle guns, which I have no idea how those work whatsoever. And then you have the entire AI system. So you can control your ships and your guns manually, but that's not practical whatsoever in a campaign. So you need to set up an AI system that connects to everything. And then the sky fortresses and your turret blocks and all that oh, stuff. That's trippy. And oh, this what? Is so trippy. What? What's trippy? Oh, jeez, I don't. What? Uh, the shields that I put on the laser. Uh, what? They're crossing each other, and if you just move side to side like a block at a time, they'll go oh. through. But you can oh, see. Oh yeah, both. just do 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 do. It's so weird. Out of every game I have ever played in my entire life, this game has the steepest most highest mountain of a learning curve of any game ever. Oh, it's so bad. Yeah. So if you want to get into this game, be prepared to build stuff for weeks on end, watch tutorials for days, and at the end of the first month or whatever, know that all the stuff you did in that time is absolute crap and you're gonna delete all of it and yep. you're gonna make better stuff after that and guess what you still won't know half of what's in the game <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know what <laughs> i don't know how to build a plane i don't know how to build a sub we'll figure it out in this series eventually but right now we're just focusing on boats and guns philip you're pretty good at the missile systems and um, I think, like, our powers combined, uh, we, we can make some really stuff. awesome guns. Yeah. And then you taught me about the AI system, and you you have a freaking awesome laser system on this thing. That's just insane. Oh, I, I, I all I did was learn, uh, I learned that by reading the descriptions of everything. That's all I did. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... Oh, okay, so this is what I want, uh, so let's place a bunch of these. I think I have fuel engines and steam engines pretty well down. This is our mothership here, which is just absolutely insane. And yes, hi, here's, there's your dude right there. We, we have our little robot dudes, and you can go inside the ship and control it and everything. I'm actually gonna head up to the bridge real quick. And then I wanna show you guys some other, sh uh, Philip. Yeah. Uh, there's a hole. <laughs> I'm okay. just gonna, um, there we, there we go, fixed it, <laughs> everything's fine, <laughs> what are you talking about? So oh, this oh. is our bridge here, in the middle, oh jeez, I just went through the floor, oh, no. <laughs> or the ceiling actually. <laughs> this ship is so cool looking though. Oh yeah, 
we <sighs> collaborated on this. I did most of the body work on it and shaping it out. Yeah. Generally. It's like I just refined it a tiny bit, but you yeah. made the shape completely. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. How long did that? What? We did a six-hour session of gameplay, and it took me oh, it that was... full six hours just to build the basic framework. And then the crazy thing is that you were wanting this end to be the front, and I was like, how about we make this end the front? <laughs> yep, Maybe in out. the future, though, we'll make a second version of this, and we'll make this side the front, and we'll change up some stuff. I am going to show off our future project. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so... This is group project, as it's named. Oh, there. Oh, geez. Oh, oh, the smack. <laughs> wow, so, we made it to the surface. So, as you can see, the prototype, this big, versus... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's almost as wide as the prototype is, and yeah, close to being 50% yeah, a... longer. Yeah. So yeah, this this is going to be an actual battleship. It's not some futuristic looking thing like this is. It's going to be like Mighty Mo status. The main uh, objective of a Sky Fortress, I guess you'd say, is it sits in resource points. So if you go to the map, or I'm actually just going to show this. This ring here on the map here, you can see this... This is a resource gathering place, and because this is your spawn point, it's just infinite. But look at how big the map is. Oh, jeez. We, we don't even know. I, I've never explored the map. I've crashed into island a couple times. That's the Bridge of the Sky Fortress. Up here, we have a radar dish. This is a giant radar versus, like, this active radar. This is part of the AI system versus just a giant radar that works for everyone, I think. I think that's how it works, right? And then we have uh, a yeah. rangefinder, which this is also AI system. Sky fortresses, they collect materials, as I said, and the two main uh, resource collectors of this ship is the oil we're just barely not in the resource zone or else it'd be shooting down into the ocean the into the deep down dark deep down and it'd be drilling for oil and then over here this is a material gatherer uh why is there a hole why is it sinking why is it sink oh no it's the waves it's just the waves are giant a sky fortress it's super slow moving it goes like what butt speed a second Two. or something <laughs> yeah and uh it they're also not supposed to be very armored i mean you could armor it but you know if a ship gets way out there like you're kind of screwed anyway so uh i didn't armor it just so it'd be cheaper to make because in story and stuff and campaign you have materials that builds your ships, and if you spend too much, like, you want to be using your resources wisely, so making this thing all out of wood and no armor is, just makes it super cheap, so we could even put a bunch of these around in different resource zones and just be gathering a ton. And then the thing with the Sky Fortress is that you can have your fleet way out at the battlefield and then you could have your Sky Fortresses in the resource zones and then you can have little transport ships that take resources from the Sky Fortress to your fleet. So your fleet is stocked up. I have a couple guns on it just in case uh, anything does get close that it might be able to defend itself. So we have these two These are actually simple guns. These are pretty new to the game actually these octuples These are really heavy hitting fast guns and those would be for like a ship coming up and then we have anti-missile anti-air guns in the back here and in here we have a uh, engine just because you need power we have the little AI system or fuel storage and then there's back here is uh, batteries and creating electricity and the electric motor. We have ammo makers and ammo storage, which ammo explodes. And then 
We have repair bots for other ships. So for friendly ships, these bots would repair them. We also can have, we can spawn ships using these. These things here are the repair bots for uh, this ship. On this side, we have material storage for the gathering material there. And then on this side, we have the uh, oil refinery, which makes fuel. So we have that whole system and then the smokestacks in the back and then the fuel obviously gets stored up by the engine. So that is the Sky Fortress, which I think it's a pretty good design for a Sky Fortress. How cheap is it? It's uh, 27,000 material, so it's not too bad. I'm spawning in your starter ship. It's 50,000. This is just a bunch of uh, just these simple guns. So no cram cannons, no advanced cannons, just normal guns and i think they hit pretty hard oh as... they hit real hard at one point in my from the depths career i made a bugatti on water <laughs> <laughs> so this is based off of the chiron actually and it's turned into a boat you can see with that wave looking uh just you know you know the chiron the 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 you know the curve on the side of it and the slopes in the front and then the back, the deck lid would be right there. And so this thing, it's not the greatest ship whatsoever, but guess what? It is a 16 cylinder and I can show you the engine better. There's 16 turbochargers, which is just absolutely insane. And that's what started this whole ship is I was like, I want to make a super insane engine. So I, I did that and then, uh, you know, I just added a chip around it. So it's kind of a speedboat thing, but it doesn't work super well. So if I drive it here, it goes pretty fast, but it does this whole like uh, nose goes up, gain speed, nose goes down, slows way down. It's not a great ship whatsoever, but I, I like to make a speedboat that was, that actually worked better in the future. Breach! This was a speedboat that I made way back. This is one of my more original ships. This might be the first original ship that I built that I actually like the looks of, but also, once again, it's not the greatest thing. These waves are insane. It's just like a Lake Powell speedboat kind of thing. Something you'd see out there, and then you have your little, uh, your stairs down to the water level and such, but... I, I like the looks of it, but it's also not a good ship. It's definitely not meant for campaign whatsoever. I've actually made a first battleship, which, you know, it's not the worst thing. That That's blocks missing. Maybe, maybe they were supposed to be for an engine. I don't know. I have no idea. This thing obviously sucks. We can do way better than this. But these cram cannons, though, these are actually pretty good. And this, I think, was me testing out how to put multiple cannons on the same turret mount, which by the way, the secret is to just have, basically it's three individual cannons. They're just not connected anywhere. They're not connected to each other. There's a line of blocks in between them, but they're all connected to the same turret mount. So that's how you do multiple cannons on the same turret. This thing here, this was based off of an actual uh, ship. It's it's really tiny. It's supposed to hold like six or eight people or something. It's uh, It has the hydrofoils on the bottom here, which that's actually supposed to be on top of the water, which this ship will go on top of the water when it's moving. It's just because it's not moving, it's sitting a lot lower. Um, but it sits up. So even this, there's air under this usually. And then if you go inside, it there's some seats and just like the tiniest engine ever a one cylinder <laughs> and your controls here and so this thing it doesn't work but i'd like to do something like this in the future over here i have a paddle boat which doesn't really work too well but ah. it's it's like a steamboat and you have your controls up here and your engine room in here but then in here it's it's nice where you can walk along and go up and you know it's kind of aesthetically pleasing a little bit it's a little bit like home except not at all this is i called it the seabird this was the second test ship i ever did 
Um, I just thought it looked like a bird. <laughs> it, it does look like a bird. There's a tail. There's I put eyes in, and there's the beak. There's a gun I tested, and this is what I did. I have another test ship that I'm not going to show you, but basically when the first thing I did when I started this game is I just built a block, just a big block, and I just filled it up with just stuff. Engines, guns, testing everything in it, and it's, it looks like crap. It's just literally a block in the water, but it has just guns everywhere and stuff on it because it was uh, testing it out. Keep this in there. And here is a pirate ship that I built. There's these little cannons here, which I don't even know if they do much good or anything, but, you know, it, it looks cool. It kind of looks like a pirate ship. There's sails. I tested out sails, but, you know, it, it doesn't work too well. And, oh, shoot, I'm trapped. <laughs> That's great design on my part. How do you like the color of these shields? Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. I like that, dang. Where they're just slightly visible, but you can still see through them. This looks like someone's redstone world. There's so much lag now from all the yeah. ships. So a uh, quick rundown through uh, some of Steven's ships. He made this thing, which is advanced cannons. And I mean, it's kind of a cool shape, but we kind of have a little bit of the same thing going on in the prototype. This one is just cut off the pontoons and just one giant gun, which is pretty heavy hitting. And uh, over here, he made a little speedboat with a cram cannon on it, which I think it would be really fun to make a little speedboat that you could get in between ships with. Uh, he has uh, this thing, I think he called it the Archipelago, which it has some cram cannons on it. I think I helped him with a bunch of the guns and engines. I like this slanted roof on this ship and whatever, that's fine. This is his ironclad here. I'm sorry for all the lag, we'll delete everything in a minute. This is his ironclad, which uh, you'll see... You'll, uh, you'll see a different uh, ironclad here and oh geez oh 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 the lag oh the ship is going in the air oh <laughs> oh um Sorry. uh the lag oh my eyes uh, i'm getting like two frames okay, a second there's just lines everywhere that's all of the forces all the propellers and things that are in operation. Ironclad basically is metal on top, wood on bottom, which, I mean, he has all these weird armor things and stuff, but it, you will see in a minute that I've actually completely updated this ship, but I do like this. His cockpit looks super cool and futuristic. This ship here, I really like the shape of it. It's absolute crap. It's a garbage ship, but I love the lights on it, and, uh, geez, get out of here, lines. Just, there's too many lines everywhere. <laughs> uh, but I love how the the main, uh, the bridge and all that stuff is in the front of the ship. He started a battleship at one point, which I'm jumping onto right now in the midst of all this lag, which you can see is huge. And uh, me and Philip will be finishing this thing eventually uh, and probably making some modifications to it, but Philip set up a missile system in the back here, which isn't quite done. There's some AI stuff on the top, which could probably be redone, and we have rail guns here on the front. Uh, there's this, is this a, yeah, a cram cannon, and then this is an advanced cannon, and then we could put another giant big gun right here, some smaller, uh, simple guns around, and then a couple more big guns there. So that's it for Steven's ships. You have an ion cannon on that thing? I have a particle cannon on this. What? Okay, I'm coming to see this. Here's Philip's ship that I kind of remember, but, you know, not too much. Uh, here's, oh, dang. That is cool looking. I'm gonna spawn in the last ship I'm gonna show you guys today, and then we're gonna be done with this episode, and next time we will start a campaign. So this ship right here is my new ironclad, which it's inspired off of Steven's, but it's also completely redone from the ground up. The only thing that's similar is the two cram cannons here. These two cram cannons, I, they're basically the same. I upgraded them a tiny bit, but 
you can see still metal on top, wood on bottom, and it actually works because uh, the water uh, takes away the kinetic energy of any bullet going, and it has four propellers, and it goes like 20 meters a second or something. The AI system is taking it over right now. It has passive radar and passive sonar, and oh geez, you're oh just barely missing it. You have a laser warner and a smoke dispenser. So you saw the laser on the prototype. If it detects a laser being shooting at the ship, it'll uh, release all the smoke. It'll just be a cloud of smoke around the ship and lasers uh, get reduced damage like 70% through smoke. So this thing, it's very light on armor, but it's fine because it only costs, it's like 18,000, yeah, 18,000, so it's super cheap. This is a very early game uh, ship, but it's basically invincible against uh, uh, lasers, which is awesome. Ammo is stored there, and then down here we have the AI system down in here with a wireless snooper. This was just to show you what this game you can do, explain some stuff, uh, show you guys what we have done so far just to update you on everything and what we're planning. And next time we'll actually get into some fights and battles and stuff and test out a few of these ships. The final total is 487,000 materials. This ship's finally done, I can't believe it. It's crazy. Yep. It's such a good ship and we've had to fix things, redesign things because game's been updated and we've learned how to do things better, but I think it's done. So, yep. and there shouldn't be any more drastic changes to the game anymore because it has finally yeah. come out in its full version. There's yeah. No patches and smoothings, but yeah, it's so it's done. in early access right now, but it's going to be fully released in a few months or something. So that's also a reason to get into the game is because it's gonna be full release. I hope you guys are excited about this game. I think it's it's a fun game. It just has so much to learn and there's so much to do. There's like coding stuff that you can even do. I don't even know how to do any of that, but there's so many ideas we have and ships we wanna build and testing the ships and fights and all that kind of stuff. So if you like this one, share it with a friend. And if you wanna stay tuned for the upcoming episodes, hit subscribe. So thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time.